when you watch a journal page turn, do you feel that urge to do it yourself, to play with the paper and paint on the page, to create something special that makes you feel proud? On this week's video, I'm turning the pages on this chubby journal, describing each spread and what we did to create it. I'll link to the videos that will help with your crafty play. I hope to inspire your junk journaling and make it easy to do. And if, like me, you have this addiction to paper and playing with paint, then hit the subscribe button and ring the little notification bell because I have so many more videos and ideas to come. The first page here has a botanical theme using a page from an old book of herbs and some glorious gold and black spotty washi. I made a banner and wrote on the month and I added a little pocket on the right hand side. On the back of this fold out is a zebra cactus and this is a doodle that we had a lot of fun drawing and painting. This is a clip from the original video and I will list them all in the description box down below. It's a really simple doodle and we had a lot of fun painting it with my little palette of white night paints there. And this is the book that I used to help me with my doodles. Botanical line drawing by Peggy Dean with about 200 little drawings and images in it. I also stamped and painted these daffodils and added them into the fold out. I added this handmade envelope to the right hand side to this glossy page. It's stamped here with a little bicycle that reminds me of my student days. And I just filled this little envelope with a few journaling cards with a couple of those doodles and spaces to write notes. And I just attached it with a paper clip to the right hand page. The second page that I did was all about spring. I used fresh greens and yellows and a mixture of embellishments. I've been really enjoying adding quotes and poems to my spreads and this is one by Tennyson, Behold We Know Not Anything. I added a watercolour wash again in the background with a mixture of darker and pale greens and a dash of yellow there. And the flower on the left comes from a page in my Henry Terry book of flowers. And this is how I did that watercolour wash. Very freehand, very easy. And the daffodil doodle is also from the same book by Peggy Dean. So while the weather's beautiful, do you think you might have a go at this? Are you up for a doodle? I drew it out on a small piece of scrapbook paper and then I just had a play with my watercolour paints again. Adding a bit of grass and foliage at the base of the stem here. For my quotes, I've been diving into this Oxford Dictionary of Quotations and I've also been using this Book of a Thousand Poems for the young and the very young. So on this spread I also added a little tag made with a little handmade flower and it's got some cute music paper on it as well. The page is bounded on the left hand side here by a border, just dots and dashes and I've sneaked in a little bit of handwriting, which I always think adds something. And moving on to the next spread, I think this has more of a seaside and nautical feel. And a focal point of this spread is this two-tier pocket. I put a couple of tags in the pockets, and I used this pretty zigzag gold washi on the tags. So it's a pocket in a pocket on the left-hand side there. And this is my collection of washi tape that I pull on, most of which comes from Amazon. These two tier pockets are incredibly easy to make, a lot of fun and you'll find a link to the video in the description box down below. You've been encouraging me to use my watercolour pencils, so on this spread I also coloured in a stamped flower. I got a crisp image from a foam stamp. 
can I just use three of my watercolour pencils to colour in the petals? And the leaves are finished off with some luscious green watercolour paint. I used a quote from Byron on this page, she walks in beauty like the night. Here's that flower that we coloured in. And here's a bit more spotty washy on the two tear pocket that sits behind it. The watercolour pencils here are from Crimson and Blake. As you can see, a really lovely rainbow selection of colours. And for that flower, I just blended them with this little water brush. The next spread was inspired by a walk in the woods near to my house. I used a very pretty journaling card here. And I also added a border to this one. Bit of organza ribbon and another page here torn out from my Henry Terry Book of Flowers. In this video we had some fun decorating envelopes. Here's a few more that I've had fun making. If you do like making really simple envelopes then check out my video, I have a really simple method. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. Here you can see me just stamping and then painting that waistcoat on the right hand side of the envelope. As you can see I picked purple and green colours that went with the rest of the page. So here it is on the right hand side of the journal spread. And again I use my water brush here to paint it. On this journal page you can see a lily that I've stamped and painted on the left hand side and on the right hand side here you can see a flip out with a little pocket and also a tag. And this was an Easter themed journal page. I used the same little watercolour palette to paint the lily. I did a bit of paper tearing with some gold and some spotty papers and I finished it off with some rose gold washi tape. And this week's quote was from Shakespeare, now daisies pied and violets blue. I also have a video on making really simple pockets, so check that one out as well if you're interested. On the right hand side of this page is a three tier pocket. Lots of you have been making and sharing pictures of them, so thank you so much for that. The video for this journal spread does include a really simple step-by-step -step process for making that three-tier pocket, so do check it out if you fancy having a bit of fun. As you can see here, it was a really simple cutting and folding method. And this is just a sample of some of the two and three-tier pockets that I've been making. I added a sonnet from Shakespeare, shall I compare thee to a summer's day. And again this page had a little bit of a colour wash behind and I decorated this three tier pocket with washi tape in complementary colours and patterns. And this final spread was the result of a challenge, a challenge to us all to use unloved items in our crafty stash. So I chose these jigsaw pieces which I've been added to tags. And I've since been playing with different effects like this resist effect on the tag and playing around with paint again, making these circles. So as well as these jigsaw pieces, I've been using these little sequins on my tags. And a more cheeky quote this week from Winnie the Pooh. And those are the seven fun journal spreads that have made this a rather chubby journal. I've done a video for every page that you've seen here today and there's a link to every video in the description box down below. And you might want to put this video in a playlist to help you find the journal spreads and the techniques that you really enjoy in the future. Next week we'll be decorating this one which I put together last week so do check out last week's video 
hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and come back next week when we'll have lots more junk journaling fun.